Hey everyone, I'm Carson Hadlock and welcome to Carson Studios. Today, we are going to be getting into our very first review. And we're going to be reviewing these light. Dan. I I specifically told you to put the lights out. Uh sorry. Alright, so how these review videos are going to work uh, is that we go through a couple things. First one, we kind of just run down of what it is, all the things it has, what it can do, bells and whistles and whatever, uh, and basically what it is. Then we're going to go through pros and cons, and then occasionally we will do a comparison, maybe... I don't feel like doing a comparison right now, so I guess maybe that should that'll be a, a whole nother video series. That great, I just have more videos to make now. Boom, and then it will be my out of five star review for it, uh, and so like my overall review. My reasoning behind making these review videos is because. I just got the random idea to make these review videos and uh, because I thought it could be helpful because a lot of my equipment is on the cheaper end because I don't have a ginormous budget and so uh, all those people that are like oh I can't buy film equipment but what about this cheaper end stuff they can kind of get a review of my equipment and maybe be like oh yeah that's something I want or oh yeah that's terrible enough said i'm talking too much let's get into our light review all right starting out light so i don't actually know what lights these are well i will uh also note that all of the reviews i will put the thing i'm reviewing in the description down below so you guys can order it or not if you want just so you're aware uh, so yeah, I, I don't know what these are called. These are just some small newer lights, and they're roughly around thirty to forty dollars. They're cheap, right? And you'd think, oh, you get cheap quality. Actually, I love these lights. I'm literally using one right now. I'm not gonna pull it over, but it's that blue light on my face. Yeah. So, so here's the light. It actually comes off of the thing this is the light in and of itself you can pull this out you can see all the little light bulb thingies voila okay so yeah we have our entire light it's it's small you guys this is in comparison to my hand like it's about the size of my hand which of course you don't know the size of your hand but it's about probably roughly around the size of your hand roughly Unless you have a huge hand or a tiny hand or... I'll just stop talking now. Yeah, so the cord, it is hooked to it. You can't adjust it. And this is the end, which is actually a universal end. I think that can be nice. Crap. I think it could be nice, uh, but it doesn't come with any plugs, so you have to have your own plugs, so, yeah. Then we have our entire tripod system, and this thing actually comes off, and, okay, this isn't like a high quality, high grade tripod system, but it is amazing. They basically give you a selfie stick, and I have literally used this in multiple videos for my phone. It's amazing. Uh, and like even this It spreads out enough like there is those little Zinky tiny three-way tri small tripods and they are crap. They cannot hold up a camera This can hold up a camera like it's still plastic, but Pretty solid and it's like more spread out too. It's still it's like even lower than those other ones and it oh amazing and it just has a screw so you just 
screwed on there. Easy. Uh, and then you have this, and this is essentially a selfie stick that it comes with. That easy. Uh, I actually like this and don't at the same time that it's just a twist and then lock. Like twist one way and you can open it up, twist one way and then it locks. I kind of like that and also kind of don't because if you accidentally bump it, it'll fall. But see, it has a nice soft handle at the end. It even ha comes with a strap that you can put your arm hand through and then boom and it the top you can hold it top actually twists too that's nice uh and you can be like what's up peace and love or uh if you needed to you can even hook your light on there and you can carry the light around if for some shot that you needed you could get a and you needed the light following them for some reason uh that could be actually be really i want to do that I just don't have people to do that. If I had the people to do it, I would definitely have a light dude and he's j carrying the light on the stick and he's like following it around and he somehow plugs it into his pocket and it's like, wait, you can do that with this end. You can put it into a portable charger. And one more thing that this comes with, and I don't use it for the lights, but this can be very helpful. This is a heavy duty, ball thing it's, yep so essentially I don't actually know what these are called anymore but yeah this is like metal and it uh, but essentially you screw whatever you need mic lights is what it came with you could even screw your camera onto this then on the bottom this screws onto your tripod and then you can unscrew that and it has a ball on there so it can just like then let's say you wanted some weird sideways shot like that and tighten it down. That ain't going nowhere. And then it's on. This is quality at its finest. I, I do actually think this can be very useful. I've never used it before. Yeah, on a shoot, never found a use for it, but very very cool and could be very very useful oh! okay so here it is this shot is probably super ugly but here's the light and what is actually really awesome about this that is crazy for like probably about 40 bucks with tax and everything you get this light it's small it like has an amazing tripod system uh and you can make it brighter and not brighter. What the heck? This is literally a complete steal. And there's the plus. It comes with colors, all right? See, there's actually some nicer $200, $300 lights that I'm even using right there, right? But they don't come with colors. They don't come with a nice thing like that. Like, we have three color choices. We have red, yellow, and blue. And you can even make a green color with the yellow and blue. Can't you make purple? Yep, you can make purple with the red and yellow. And with the... And orange. Oh my gosh. Boom! Orange light. Doesn't even come with the color orange. And I got an orange light. All right, now the pros and cons of this light. Okay, so a pro for these lights is that it's small, okay? Uh, this is a huge, huge benefit. It can also be a con, but I see it more as a pro because uh, for instance, in my scene in my film, The Bottle, which if you have not seen it, you have to go check it out. That was a huge, huge production, big thing. I'm I'm pretty proud of it. Uh, it, it isn't like the greatest film of all time, but really good. So if you haven't checked it out, make sure you go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description below or just go onto my channel and 
watch it. But in that film, the very even opening scene, uh, but it's technically scene seven, uh, at the FBI, uh, it's the FBI scene where he's at the FBI and the FBI is interrogating him about where his friend went. And in there, we had this pan down, but at the top, you see like this old metal light. This was what the light looked like. It was literally a bull covered in tin foil with the light taped onto it. And then using the cord that's hooked onto this, we tied it to the ceiling. But because we had a light that small, we were able to accomplish that look and it looked really, really awesome. That scene was amazing. Amazing. A con on this light is that the cord is attached. That cord, it ain't going anywhere. And if it's going somewhere, then bye bye light. You're gonna need a new one. But yeah, the cord being attached to the light is fine. Until it's not, I'm... <laughs> that is probably the most annoying thing about this light. Like even screwing something on gets annoying because then the cord gets wrapped up in it. And Ugh. It's, I don't know. It's also annoying storage wise because if you could just unplug the cord and then fold up the cord good, it would be so much easier. But no, you have to fold up the cord with the thing and it's uh, storing it is not, you're kind of shoving it in there. <sighs> Pro is that this comes with colors. It has colors, so colors as I see the world in red ha 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 okay con it's the piece of plastic you step on that thing and bye bye light the tripod is uh, actually metal and the ball thingies those are metal but the lights itself is a piece of plastic and if you step on it it will crack and it is it's gone it there there's no point in keeping it pro you can adjust the brightness on this thing simple enough con the cord end which actually i just realized today is a pro because then you can just plug it into a portable charger and have it in your pocket and be walking around with it. But because of that end, it doesn't come with a block. So you have to actually get your own block. And if you're going to plug it into the wall and it's sitting put, it's probably what you want to do to get better power. And so that gets annoying. All right. So the final part of this video, when I give it my rating uh, out of five stars and I rate this a drum roll, please. Carson, do not forget to add a drum roll there. That's going to be really dumb. I rate these lights a four out of five stars. They are a solid light. I'm telling you, this light is pretty darn solid. Of course, it is not the greatest light in the world, but it's a pretty solid light. I mean, it's, I, I do think this is a steal. They could be selling this for about a hundred bucks. Pack of two, too. Yeah, so you literally get two of these lights and colors and a selfie stick and an amazing bottom and these metal ball thingies all for 30 bucks it's a steal drum roll please no mm -mm. <clears throat> drum roll please drum roll please